Welcome to episode 10 Morish TV Hello and welcome, this is Morish TV with Zed And Safa and hope you're all well this week Yes, and Tiggy's enjoying himself. He knows it's episode 10, as do you know. What a fantastic nine episodes we have had. Yes, we have had amazing artists on it every single week, and comedians and puppets and everything. Yeah. And all I can say is, we've got an amazing one for number 10 this yes, time. Yes, because this week we've got 10 artists, 10 people on the show... That is not including the huge celebrity videos that we have got on the show as well, but it's going to be exciting stuff. Oh, it always is exciting because we're that little bit more. We certainly are. And well, who we've got on the show today, we have got the fantastic Motown singer, Leroy Shine Moncrief. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. And um, we've got Samantha Hudson. Oh, and we've got some rap, some great rap artists on today called DNLY, that's Delaney. And of course, we have Christopher John, yep. AGT. If you know what that is, it's America's Got Talent. Yeah, he was on America's Got Talent. It's an impersonator, so he's sent us in a great piece of footage there, so we're looking forward to that. Of course, we have also got Justine R, and Justine is a pop singer. Oh, we've got a lot of pop singers mm. today as well. And what about Hercules? Oh, the oh. return of the man himself. Oh, we just had to bring Hercules back. Because the man, so the myth, amazing. the legend. The man that's born to win. He is born to win. Yes. And born to be alive. Uh. Apart from his broken leg. Oh. <laughs> yeah, more about that later. Um, yeah, and we've also got Premura. Now that's a name of an artist to see. That's another pop act. Oh, she's absolutely amazing, and her guitarist as well. That's right. And who else have we got? And we've got Ronnie Wood from the Rolling Stones. Yes, he sent us in something special as well today. And Andrew Mark from Britain's Got Talent and The Voice UK has been in the both shows. Oh, fantastic. He's given his rendition of Elvis meets Tina Turner, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. Oh, I think it's going to be pretty amazing, put mm. that way. And we've got Evita and Simone. Wow, and we've also got the wonderful pop sensation that is Rachel Klein. And they're from all around the world. You've got New Zealand, you've got Europe, you've got um, the UK. London. London. Well, London is the UK, I think. Yes, <laughs> I just wanted to put that in. Of course, yeah. And of course, we've also got Agnes Brown returning, giving us a little clip and a few words. And it's very short clips, but um, she does her best to entertain. But they're so funny, aren't they? They certainly are. And of course, anybody who used to know the comedian Steve Martin, he's going to play his banjo for us on the show. Oh, that would be exciting. I never knew he played an instrument. I thought he was just a comical guy. Oh, yes, a Real good comedian, let's say yeah. that, I love his films. And of course we've got a famous sports guy who's going to send us in a little clip here to show us how to train at home. Oh. Using normal devices like doorways. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm too tempted. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> it certainly does. So we'll let you know more who that is very, very soon. But if you've seen the poster, you'll know exactly who that is going to be. But right now... I think we'll go down the Motown route, I love this. Oh, let's go for it, because I oh. just can't wait, I just love it, it puts you in the mood. This is why I'm wearing this lovely gold ship yeah, dress. Yeah, I'm wearing this because I'm a hitman. I'm <laughs> <laughs> joking. Right, anyway, Morish TV, Series 10, Episode 10, Series 10, Episode 10, not Series 10, Series 1. <laughs> Get Make you mind right? up. <laughs> I'd, I'd be a bit older now. Right, anyway, uh, of course, let's start off with the wonderful man that is none other than Shining Like a Star, it's Leroy, Leroy Shine at Moncrief oh, with his Motown tape and he's sent us in a video link right now. He's waiting on us. Oh, hello there. Hey, hello Z, hello Sapphire and Morris TV. My name is Leroy Shines Moncrief and I'm a singer-songwriter from Birmingham. I started singing at the age of 12 in my school band and have now been fortunate to have travelled all over this lovely planet doing what I love, which is performing. My music is described as a fusion between R&B, reggae, pop, soul. If you'd like to know more about me and what I do, you can check me out on Facebook, Leroy Shines Moncrief, 
or starnow.co.uk forward slash shines. But for now, I'd like to leave you with my rendition of a beautiful classic, I Believe in You and Me. Thank you. The feeling I get whenever we could Girl, like no other I felt before It's just so new and yet I need you so much Got to make you mine forevermore I believe in you and me I believe that we will be In love eternally As far as I can see You will always be The one For me Oh yes you will Wow, what a wonderful artist that is. It was, because I really enjoyed all that music, you know, I was yeah. brought up with that kind of music. Motown is just like, my mum loved all that, yeah. and now I love it, and you know, hopefully the next generation love it too. And he's, he's travelled around with the group, you see. He has, he's travelled all over Europe, Yeah. and um, you know, he's done the cruise ships and stuff he's like that. Oh, he's a professional, doing Absolutely. the Motown route, down the Soul route, 
doing the music that comes from our era right up to the new era, letting people hear what was then is still now. It is, it's very much now, yep. because you hear it even if you put the radio on, you can still hear it all you day. You certainly do, and and of course Leroy likes to get called Shine, and I can understand why, because he shines like a star on this Absolutely show. Absolutely agree with that. And you gave us more-ish, why is that? Because <laughs> he's that little bit more. On episode 10 as well, <laughs> Mr Shine. Right, let's shine up some shoes, because we're going to shine like a star on our next artist. Oh, we've got Samantha Hudson here. Wow, and she is a UK-based and born singer. And I would say in the pop yep. group, pop, yes. Yeah, pop, pop, pop era, yeah. And she's uh, she's went down and dabbled down the pop and dance, mixed that together with a DJ sort of feel, clubby sort of feel. So if you can't get out to clubs, which you can't at the moment, you can't dance in pubs, all that side of things, get your shoes on and dance to Samantha Hudson in your home. That's what you got to do. Oh, well, be better meet her then. <laughs> Over to you, Samantha. Hello, C, Sapphire and Morris TV. Um, you can check me out on Sam Hudson 20. My name's Sam Hudson and this song is called Caught in a Storm. Enjoy. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh, what a wonderful song. Oh, she's a lovely girl, yes. Yeah, this, this show is getting better each week, we get told by viewers and by artists alike and their fans and, and people who do not know us and just hear of the show and then watch it on catch up. Well, that's the thing, we've got a great platform here for any artists out there and yep. we like to play various songs and stuff like that. So, yes, you can perform here and... Yeah. Um, You've got a whole wide world out there to Look, listen to you. The thing is, while people are doing performing at home and they get involved in these festivals, it's absolutely fantastic and grand. I like that side of things. But if you're having to go out your way and try and set up just to perform to people, if you've got performance videos of you live in concert, live in gigs, professional music videos, this is a place to be because we give you that little bit more, as I said, because we're Morris TV and we give you that platform, just like we did Samantha Hudson there. And that was a great pop track, by the way. <laughs> so we've got something completely yeah. different for you guys out there, and yeah. I know that you love this. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, this this is a guy called Delaney, D-N-L-Y to you and I, that's Delaney, okay? And he is a, a, a hip-hop artist of the grime era, and he has transformed himself down the route of the... I wouldn't say too commercialised, but down the sort of Stormzy route. He's up there with Stormzy. He could support Stormzy. This guy is so talented, so unique, an individual personality that sets himself out from the rest. I would say so. So you're going to be out there at the festivals oh, one yeah, day, yeah. if you haven't already done that. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. But while they're not there, Delaney is on Morris TV, and he's going to introduce himself and his fantastic hip-hop rap video. This is one you all got to see. This is fantastic. It is. Over to you, Delaney. Hi, there. Hi, Z. Hi, Sapphire. Moorish TV. I just want to say a big thank you, guys, for playing my brand new single, uh, Lockdown. It's a freestyle. Uh, the video is also out on YouTube right now. You can all go check it out. DLMY Official on all social media, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Go check it out right now. Also, thanks very much for the support, everybody. The views on the video has been crazy. The video response has been mad, and the track response has been mad as well. Thanks, guys. Morish TV. Appreciate you. Take care. Yeah. Delaney. Lockdown freestyle. Keep locked down. <laughs> I've been for a lot. I'm hard body. I step in the club. I'm a ones. I'm a noddy. Stacking that money. I'll be rich like Roddy. Girl on girl. They be sweet like Sophie. I'll never sleep. I'm addicted to coffee. Got my own style, but they all want to copy. I drive this whip while she giving me sloppy. My bites stronger than my bar, but she loving that doggy. They all want to hate, but they're real, real fake. They all want a bread. They all want a piece of the cake. Beef from my team will just laugh in your face. I'll collect money like pieces of eight. My boy Move bricks and pieces of apes The top of this game, I'm taking my aim I'll keep breathing for now If I die today, remember my name I just copped the new J's on my feet Retro fours to stack money every day of the week Fought through the pain and the days that were bleak Now I'm on top of my reign real steep I clear my mind from the days that were deep Been locked down, confined to a street Every night I struggle to sleep So I roll up and bun up the weed I come to take what's mine in the game I won't die without me Making a name, changing my life, we ain't here for the fame. Making moves, I'm switching lanes. No troubles in my mind, those were the days. I work three jobs just to bring in the wage. Me and my brothers all on the same page. We put in the work cause the top's our aim. Yeah. Stress and depressed, I could turn to the drink. Dress to impress, I don't care what you think. My brain's never dead, I ain't slept in a week. It's a cold summer, so turn up the heat. Pull up the track, put it on repeat. Lockdown, locked up another three weeks. I can't wait. To take a trip to the beach or oh, over the hills, I looks over the seas. Pass me the vodka, do shots of Patron. Whiskey and brandy, get drunk on my own. I can't even send a text on my phone. This is where it's come to, locked in my home. I'm fully focused, locked in my zone. Pass me the vodka, do shots of Patron. Whiskey and brandy, I get drunk on my own. Whiskey and brandy, get drunk on my own. Yeah, Delaney, RSD beats. Shout out to my boy Avo Dre, USA to UK. Yeah, hey, keep locked down. Let's go, big year. Wasn't that, was that amazing? Oh, I, mean, I got there before yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you certainly did. <laughs> Delaney, you are a master craft, master at your own craft, actually. And you're on the, 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 yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. Great video as well, and there's lots from Delaney um, to, in the future, I think, as well. Lots I would of, say so. Yeah, successful you're, career for that man. You're most welcome back. Yeah, because yes. you've got that little bit more as well. 
Okay, folks, we've got lots more coming up, including some celebrity video guests on their way. Ooh. But right now, let's go over to Agnes Brown. Oh, how's Aggie and, uh, today? What's Aggie up to today? <laughs> let's go and see Agnes Brown. Over to her. Hello. Hello. And what I thought I'd do today is give you the benefit of my experience in the bedroom. I, well, I mean, when it comes to making the bed, that is. Anyway, so many people, when they get hold of a king size sheet, they have no idea how to feckin' fold it. So I'm going to show you. You take the two corners, you give it a shake. That's better. You bring it together, you fold it. You bring it together, you put it against yourself, you fold it again, you give it one more fold, and then you just screw it up and throw it away like that. It's as simple as that. Just remember, fold it, fold it, fold it, roll it up, fold it away. Oh, Agnes, never fails to raise a smile. <laughs> I always smile and yeah. always laugh. Honestly, just I know that the, the clips are just short and sweet, yeah. but they do make you laugh. They're you do get good. the gist of everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, Agnes is Steve Crowder, the number one um, tribute lookalike personality of uh, the real Mrs. Brown. So if you want to book them for birthdays or anything yeah. like that, anniversaries, whatever you need, even Christmas time coming up, yeah. get in there and yeah. get them booked. That's the one. His little logo is there on his TikTok, so you can find him there. And he's all over the, the social media anyway, and Instagram. He's very and Twitter. popular. And of course, uh, Mrs. Brown, Agnes, will be at the end. Remember at the end of the credits last week, she was there and the week before, Always doing something to see us out. I don't know what's going on, but she cracks me up. So looking forward to seeing what happens after the credits. Got to have a giggle after yeah, the credits. Yeah, you've got to, especially <laughs> on episode 10. Make it a good one, Aggie. Because it's party time. It is, certainly that. <laughs> Talking about that, if you have a party, you like a bit of comedy, you like a bit of a laugh, well, the next guest is Christopher John. Ah. And Christopher John is an artist who was on America's Got Talent, wasn't he? He was, and that's pretty big to be on America's mm -hmm. Got Talent, yep. you know. So he is like got a hundred voices in there all going at one time but you know I know who they all were and that's a good thing yeah. to know he's not telling you who they are you just take guesses but they're absolutely fantastic but you will know who on. they are yeah, you'll Simon respond. Cowell also said that he is one entertaining man of many voices he's a one man band so let's go over and see what's going on with uh, Christopher John <laughs> hi there I have a very particular set of skittles some blue some red yo no 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 you're good, all right? Hua, flew look high. Son of a woman, hua. Look, you're never going to be the next American Idol. Jesse, I make the best crystal meth there is. This is incredible, you know, when I was governor of California, I was almost president. I was president, and I did not have sexual... Oh, hell, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I used strategy to be an up. Shut up, Junior, sound like a damn fool. A fool has a watch up his ass for five long years. I'm going to run for president, and I'm going to be the next king of the United States. I mean president. Curse God! That's disgusting! <laughs> oh, tickle me elbow! Lower, lower! Ah! Oh, you sound like an ogre. That's because I am. I can't believe you, donkey. I mean, I'm a donkey. <laughs> it's so crazy, I can't believe. What do you think? I think I'm going to do my impression of Elvis. We can go all together with suspicious minds. All right, all right, all right. I get older. They stay the same age. Hee <laughs> hee. It's just ignorant. I've got the ladies up to the room and they want to take off the clothes. Got to get them a pill and my chocolate pudding pop. Hey, you know, I got a punch in the eye. You know, I made a movie named Creep, but I think I should make it greed, you know. That sounds like a fine idea. You have a lot of greed. Oh! Show. That was 90. Well, there we are. A man of many voices, indeed. A whole <laughs> pile of them thrown into one and a half minutes or so. Did you get them all? Most of them. I heard Good. Walter White from uh, Breaking Bad. You know, you get a lot of that. So, Best Stone was another. That's, be that's because you've watched, you've watched all the Breaking Bad yeah, episodes. Yeah. You know exactly who they are. Of course, with lockdown happening with people all these weeks, a lot of people will be watching it, I'll tell you what. I know. Um, right now, um, Let's go over to, um, we're going to be seeing our fantastic chef, he's uh, got something to cook up and it's a Mexican dish, um, chicken, uh, Mexican chicken enchiladas. 
Ah. And he's got a fantastic prize giveaway that he's going to tell everybody that you can win exclusively on Moorish TV, courtesy of John Quill's Kitchen. Fantastic. So, so you better oh. listen out what the question so is. So I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to that. And uh, we've got a special celebrity guest after John. John's excited about this as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think we should go over and see exactly what's cooking in the kitchen. Oh, something's cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, let's go <laughs> to the 10 minutes with John Quill. Hello, John. Hi there. <laughs> Hi Zed and Sapphire, hi everyone, and it's time for Chef John Quill's 10 minute menu and today we've got a packed full 10 minutes for you. Um, We are making Mexican chicken enchiladas today, straight from Mexico. We'll be having a competition as well and I'll give you details about that in a minute and about the prize that you could be winning. But first, most importantly, I need to get my uh, my wok on. So I'm going to get my ring nice and hot and what we're going to need for today is we're going to need some olive oil we're going to need half a sliced onion we are going to need a pepper or half of a yellow and a green pepper as I've got here just for colour going to need two medium sized chicken breasts sliced up we are going to need some Cajun spice some ground cumin some chopped tomatoes teaspoonful of chopped garlic and some cheese. Also a chicken stock cube or a stock pot. Right, firstly I'm gonna get my wok on or my pan and I'm gonna put a dessert spoonful of oil in the pan there. While that heats up, right, this week's competition, you've got a chance to win a six piece non-stick heat proof uh, set of kitchen utensils. As I always say, when you're using a non-stick pan wok, make sure you use heat resistant plastic utensils because if you use metal utensils on your uh, non-stick pans, they won't be non-stick for long. So courtesy of Chef John Quill and JQ Catering Services, the winner of this week's competition will receive a six piece non-stick heat proof plastic utensils kit and a space saver to go into your kitchen. And I'll tell you how you can win that in just a minute. Right. This oil should be nice and hot now. And I'm gonna go straight in with the onions. That's the onions going in there. Got that sizzle going on. Straight after, the onions gonna go in with the peppers there. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with the chopped garlic. There we are. So that's gonna sizzle away for a little bit. Now I'm gonna bring you over to here. There we go guys. So yeah, I'm just going to heat that up. Now, today's dish is the Mexican chicken enchilada. And this recipe is enough to make two of the enchiladas. So this recipe has come straight from Mexico, straight from Mexico, okay? Right, that's going in there. So your key ingredients, again, are your half a sliced onion, your whole pepper or half of two different colored peppers, You've got a teaspoonful of chopped garlic going in there as well. We've got two medium chicken breasts sliced. We've got Cajun spice, we've got cumin. You can also add additional chili powder or chili flakes if you want to. I'm not gonna do that today because I know my daughter is gonna be noshing into this tonight and um, she doesn't like her food too hot, but you can take it up a level if you wanted to. Also, we've got a tin, 400 gram, gram tin of chopped tomatoes and we've got some grated cheese. We've also got some 8 to 10 inch wraps, um, and that's obviously to wrap there. I wouldn't go any larger than that for this, otherwise you'll end up in, uh, without enough mix left, okay? Right, there we are. So, if you would like to win the six-piece non-stick plastic heat-proof set of six utensils, it's going to include a slotted spoon, a normal spoon, a fish slice, spaghetti spoon, um, etc. All you need to do is answer the question that I'm going to give to you in a minute and all you need to do is pop over to the Moorish TV Facebook page, like the page and then put your answer in the comment section of today's show and then once we've got all the answers in, by Tuesday we will pick a winner out of a hat 
and then we'll be in touch with you and then we'll get the uh, the prize out to you straight away and that is courtesy of JQ Catering Services and obviously Chef John Quill, that's me, okay? Right. That's sizzling away nicely. The chicken's gone in there. So we've got the onion in there, we've got the peppers in there, we've got the chicken in there, we've got the garlic in there. Right, I need some salt and pepper to taste, there we are. And that is going away nicely. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my oven preheated to 180 degrees, okay? So that's just gone on there. Now these, once they're cooked in the pan and we roll the enchilada, top them with cheese and sauce, they go in the oven for about 10 minutes, okay? I just can melt the cheese on the top and bring the whole dish together. Right, so what we need now is some flavour punch. So we're going to go in with two dessert spoonfuls of Cajun spice. We're going to go in with a teaspoonful of cumin. There we are. Wow, wow, here we go. Get your nostrils ready. So, smell and the flavours of Mexico in this enchilada mix going on here in my wok. And yes, Captain Beanie, I'm using my wok again. Always, I love using my wok. There we are, guys. The reason why, as I said on a couple of the other shows, is because it, 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 it generates heat better around the dishes and they cook really quickly. And obviously, this is a 10 minute menu. So I need to cook quickly. Right, I'm going to leave that there. So, today's competition question is, what country do chicken enchiladas come from? If you pop over to the Moorish TV Facebook page, like the page and then put your answer in the comments section attached to this show on the post, we will be pulling a name out of the hat on Tuesday, and then we'll be in touch to let you know that you've won, and then obviously we'll get the prize out to you ASAP by the next show. Right, so onions, peppers, garlic, chicken, cumin, teaspoon of, two dessert spoonfuls of Cajun spice in there and additional chili flakes or uh, ground hot chili or medium chili if you want to give it an extra bit of um, pizzazz and a bit more chili in there, okay? Right, now, one tin, 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. There we go, it hasn't got to be a tin. Sometimes you can get them in a carton, but 400 grams of chopped tomatoes going in the pan, there we are. And I will bring you over to the wok, the magic wok, in a second, so you can see what's going on in the wok. Right, here we go guys. This is what's going on in the wok. That is your enchilada, your Mexican enchilada filling. Right, one more ingredient to go in, and that is my stock cube. Hasn't got to be an OXO cube. Can be a Tesco, Asda, Morrison's, Aldi little cube, or even a stock pot, chicken stock pot. And that's going in there now. That's bubbling away. There we go. Okay, guys, as always, if there's any dishes you would like to see featured on Chef John Quill's 10 minute menu, please get in touch with either Zed and Sapphire or with myself uh, directly. You can get me on Facebook, obviously. You can get me on Instagram, Chef underscore John underscore Quill. Get hold of Zed and Sapphire, get hold of the Moorish TV page, comment on a page, any which way you like. If there's anything you'd like to see featured on Chef John Quill's 10 minute menu, I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Um, and give us some inspiration and ideas for the show. 
Also, if there's any tips or hints you want, you know, poached egg, scrambled egg, omelettes, anything like that, no matter how simple. If you'd like to see some desserts on the show, you know, if there's any classic, if there's any favourites you've got, please get in touch and we will do our best to, uh, to get them on a show for you. So, right, while this is simmering away, I'm going to turn it down to a medium heat. The prize available is a six-piece, non-stick, heat-proof, plastic utensil set, courtesy of Chef John Quill and JQ Catering Services. And all you need to do to win that prize is to answer the following question. Which country do chicken enchiladas come from? Simply pop over to the Moorish TV uh, Facebook page, click on the link attached to today's show, put your answer in the comments, like the page, and then we will pick a name out of the hat on Tuesday, and then we'll be in touch. There we go. Right, I'm going to bring these guys over to here again. This is lovely. Right, my oven is nice and hot. It's on 180 degrees, remember, okay? Now what I need is I need an oven tray. And remember the tip from before, just a little tip. When you're using baking parchment or baking paper, I want to put a little drizzle of water on there, okay? So I need a little bit of drizzle of water on the tray. I'm going to put my parchment on the top purely to help the parchment not move around, okay? Now all I need is my wrap. I've got my 8 to 10 inch tortilla wrap right there. And now it's time to fill. So here we are. Now it's time to fill my enchilada, my Mexican enchilada, straight from Mexico. There we are. Don't overfill because it'll come out of the edges. And we're also going to need some uh, sauce to go on the top. So watch this now. I'm going to go from the front to the back, the back to the front. There we are. And I'm going to roll that over like that. Now I'm going to put some sauce on the top. Here we are, some sauce and some peppers along the top there. That's right, my oven is at 180 degrees. Now, it's time to put some cheese on the top as well, okay? So there we are, a little sprinkle of cheese. And now this is going into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. We are. Right, so that is your chicken enchilada. So we've got half a sliced onion in there, we've got one pepper or half of two different peppers in there. We've got a teaspoonful of chopped garlic, we've got a tin of uh, chopped tomatoes, 400 gram tin uh, of chopped tomatoes. We've also got one chicken stock cube, we've got two dessert spoonfuls of Cajun spice, one teaspoonful of cumin and two medium chicken breasts all sliced up. Remember, you can add extra chili, chili flakes, fresh chili if you want to, if you really want to spice it up. Okay, guys, you can serve this dish with wedges, nachos. You know, you could get some all the Mexican tapas going on in there as well if you wanted to, but we're gonna have this with salad. So that's in the oven for 10 minutes. Right, the competition. All you have to do is answer this question and you could win the chart, the, sorry, you could win the six piece plastic heat proof a non-stick utensil set. As I always say, never use metal utensils on a non-stick pan because your non-stick pan won't be non-stick for long. And all you have to do is pop over to the Moorish TV Facebook page and put your answer down on the link that's attached to tonight's show. Come Tuesday, we will pull a name out of the hat and we'll be in touch and let you know if you've won the competition or not. And all you have to do is answer this one simple question. What country do chicken enchiladas come from? If you can answer that, you've got a chance of winning the six-piece utensil set. This is Chef John Quill signing out for another week. They're coming out in 10 minutes, and I'll see you again next week. Remember, if you've got any ideas you'd like to see on the show, I will see you next week, and hopefully I'll be delivering on, uh, on, on that for you. So take care. See you soon. Absolutely fantastic. That's absolutely yeah. fabulous because John's been on TV and that, as yeah, you very yeah. well know. Been a lot of stuff. If you've been watching week to week, you'll know that he has. He's a celebrity chef and he cooks for the celebrities as well. No restaurants open, we'll cook like John Quill and make your own one.
Ah. Have you can... ever been to Mexico? Though? Yes, of course I've been. Not, not have you had your the, dreams? I've been to Mexico and San Diego where we filmed. But ah. if you're talking about the other side of Mexico... I'm talking about that side. Oh, no, that's where they filmed the, the Queen of the South. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Great drama on Netflix, folks. Watch mm-hmm. it. It's about the, the cartel and all that. It's really interesting. Oh, my goodness. But a fantastic <laughs> drama. And season... We're on season two. Season three and four are still there. Season five's coming soon as well. Fantastic driver. There's a bit of plug there, so there you go. Ah, so maybe <laughs> he might take me to Mexico one day. Oh, well, not that one. Uh, no, <laughs> I want to try the food and everything Aye, over there. The food. <laughs> That's about all we want to try. <laughs> anyway, we're moving on. We're going down to somebody who's wore a Mexican hat and has been in uh, comedy stuff with Martin Short, uh, another comedian, Steve Martin. Who is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful comedian and a wonderful comedy actor? Everybody knows Steve Martin. Oh, I know him. I was watching his films, and um, he's absolutely hilarious. Yes, you know, yes. honestly, if there was ever one that I had to meet, it would have to be him. Uh, Steve Martin. Honestly, I'm not joking. I just have to meet him one day. You just, you just look at him, and you just want to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Steve Martin recently lost his voice, so he said. <laughs> so he doesn't want to talk. He's lost his voice, but he says he plays, I could do the plays, for him. plays the banjo. But he, no. he is he is linking over with us right now to play the banjo. He's going to play as a song, yeah. especially for us and John Quill. He says, "Oh, very nice." So over to you, Steve Martin, on Morris TV. <laughs> Talents. I thought it was all about the comedy, make people laugh. He entertains and he can play a banjo like Billy Connolly. Oh, Sorry, yeah. that he's another one man banjo. Yeah. <laughs> a, a banjo, Steve Martin. I've never seen that one coming, but that's one man banjo. And only on Morris TV because he wanted to give us that little bit more than just make us laugh. Oh, he well, wanted see, to entertain us. Bro. Everyone wants one. Steve yeah. Martin on Morris TV. Who said anything less? Well, we've got another um, another uh, couple of uh, stars coming up very soon. We've got Ronnie Wood and a uh, special sports star coming up, showing us how to uh, keep fit in your home. But I'm looking forward to seeing all this. It's going to be fun. But right now, a pop singer coming up. We have, and it's Justina. Oh, and this is Justina to play on the show. Oh, I like that. Now, Justina is a wonderful girl who has got a voice, as, as you would say, of a pop star. Absolutely. And I want to say hello to her now. Is that okay? Yes. Good. Hello there, Justina. Hello, Z and Sapphire and Morris TV. I'm Justina. I'm a singer-songwriter from London and Essex. And you can find me on Instagram at this IZ Justina. So this is, but is with a Z, Justina. Um, you can also find all my other social media links um, and all my music stuff and just everything about me on my website, which is thisisjustina.com. The music video that's about to play is my debut single called You, featuring the rapper Juice Juice. That's Juice Juice with two eyes. And it's also available on all platforms under Justina J Tina featuring Juice Juice. I hope you enjoy. Nails done, lipstick on, dress so tight, got my hair down long. Always mad at you cause you take too long. But forget about the time when you play my song. I don't care where we go, and I don't care what we do. I ain't worried about a thing, my baby, when I'm next to you. And I don't care where we go, I don't care what Baby, when I'm next to you My 
for that Justina what a wonderful singer what a great video as well absolutely and we just love videos because you love videos too yeah they love making them that's the thing they love making them oh, because hey. when you're making them it's great and it's exciting but it's even more exciting once the finished product's done oh I know that we've made videos in yeah. the past now and I just can't wait to see the finished product you yeah. know you just like I want to see it you know yeah. but you have to wait until it's all done it's just like a music production you just yeah. have to wait that's right well in between what we've been doing we've been working on songs as well and we've working with the production and uh, we've got um, one track finished the other songs in the mix as them at the moment but uh, that'll be coming out soon and then we'll be working on videos in between what we're doing oh I just love the finished product yeah, don't you yeah and we'll be back on TV soon I'm sure as well because things are getting back to normal yes pubs aren't open yet but never mind oh. they will be soon <laughs> next week next week next oh, month well, they'll next be month. open soon yeah, i'm saying next week next <laughs> week if i've got a lock <laughs> right anyway folks uh, talking about locks this guy can lock you in with the sound of his magnificent voice he is a crossover artist he's a tenor he should be an ambassador for the male providence of voices i would say yeah. so he's got a very powerful yeah. voice but a beautiful voice, yeah. let's say that. And that is none other than our very good friend who has appeared on the show um, not once but twice and given us a special um, greeting at the start of one of our shows and it's none other than the man, the myth, the legend, the big master of the voice, Hercules. Yes, Hercules. Hi there. This is the Eye Sapphire. Hi, Maurice TV. Week 10. Wow. This show is just getting bigger and bigger. I'm Hercules. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at I am Hercules the voice and on Twitter you can follow me at I am Hercules this next song is the title track of my album which I wrote and composed it's called I am yours I hope you enjoy it you can leave a comment you can leave a like let us know what you think and always remember you are born to win
hands of love. God sent an angel to be by my side. Thank you very much, Hercules. Wonderful to have him on board again. Of course, Hercules has had a little accident with his leg, but he's getting oh, better. He, he had an accident with his leg. We're not going to say what happened. It's none of our concern. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't do that to him. But yeah, no, he's, he's, cracked, he's cracked his ankle there. and of course He he's just said it. <laughs> he's, he's, he's recuperating, but I'm sure the sound of his voice will put his bones back together. Oh, sure that. He, he could sit and watch this, you know, yeah, of so Morris sitting, TV, he could yes, just sit yes. there and um, watches every week. forget about your pain and just watch this and you'll just love it and you'll yeah. just forget there's any pain. You need this show, you need a hug from, from your, your little one and oh. um, looked after and pampered from, from your lovely wife as well and that's you done. Oh, what more can a man <laughs> ask? Well... A recording deal would do him. Oh, he I deserves that. If that everybody a, deserves it, but he does. He, he puts a lot in. If there's anybody out there, well, Hercules is your yep. man, and you've got to sign him up. Yes, because he has the power. He yes. has the power indeed. And Hercules will obviously you'll see him again on the show um, in bits and bobs because he's he's a good friend of ours now, he and he's a supporter of the show. He puts everything in to even watch the show, even sitting with 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 a. You know, hurt leg and stuff like that. I know. You know? But you'll get better. Yeah, you'll of course get better. you will. I think he'll be re- right as rain very, very soon. He has to recuperate and just wait in his time to heal. And that's all you have to do. Hercules, you're a strong man anyway. You'll be fine. Ah. Thank you for being on the show again as well. But uh, yeah, we've got lots coming up now. And of course, um, more artists on the way, including our next fantastic established artist, which is Primura. Oh, lovely And girl. of course... This, yes, indeed, and a great singer, great, great songwriter, all the class of being another pop star as well. That's what we do, we entertain people with future of music and the future stars. Absolutely, and um, I believe she's been picked up, you know. She has, now. she has, yes, but um, more of that will come out very, very soon. Uh, of course, um, she's, she's going to be on the link with us in a second and she'll tell you more about what she's about and she'll introduce the song that she's going to do and lots, lots more. And that, what more can you ask for? Well, she's got a guitarist as well yeah, there yeah, from the band. Yeah, and they're linking in together uh, via Zoom or some sort of screen Just like that. Just amazing, that Zoom, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. There's Moorish TV as well. As well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's get that little bit Moorish because she's going to give you that little bit more, yeah? She is. And we'd like to say, hi there. 
Hello Zed, hi Sapphire at Moorish TV. I'm Pre Mora. Thank you so much for letting me be on your wonderful show. I've been watching it as well and I'm really enjoying it so far. Fantastic work, guys. Um, yeah, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Pre Mora. I live down in Yorkshire, but actually I used to live in Edinburgh. There's a little one there for you. So I love, love, love the city. It's got a real soft spot in my heart. And um, yeah, so I've got a new single out called Deja Vu and uh, it's also recently been picked up by BBC Introducing so I'm really really excited about that and uh, me and my guitarist Lewis have done a live version especially for you guys so I hope you enjoy the live version of Deja Vu and you can find me on all the socials at Primora Official Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you, whatever you please <laughs> Thank you so much Zed and Sapphire, much love
wasn't that wonderful, honestly. Very much so. I just like the way that um, she done the, the guitarist and herself. Yeah, you know, it's very like, much so. It's like two windows there. <laughs> yeah, and because they're in two different homes, because they can't be mm -hmm. around each other at the moment as a band, the whole band, in fact, um, it, it still works when they're doing it, and the way mm -hmm. they've mixed it, very professional indeed. I would say so, which I'll... A lovely girl, wasn't she? Yeah, and of course they've been picked up by the BBC Introduces as well. Well done. Which is sort of like radio stuff, but it's great because they'll get it more, more pro promotion as well. That's fantastic. And of course they'll be on this show, continuous on our on our IPTV channel and on YouTube as well, so you'll be all over the place there as well, oh. all worldwide with us because the show's very global now. Thank you for that. Certainly is. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, we've got more coming up very soon. We've got Ronnie Wood from the Rolling Stones coming up and some more other um, singers and a BGT and Voice UK act that's appeared in both shows. Oh. And so uh, more to come. great pop singer <laughs> near the end as well. And of course, Agnes again. But right now, let's find out how you can keep fit at home. Mm. Um, and this guy is a, he, he's a legend. And he's a crazy man as well in the ring, and it's called the Octagon. Oh! He's not a wrestler, he's a cage fighter. <laughs> and he's won multiple titles, and he's an aggressive behaviour, compulsive person, he says, but he's a nice guy if you get to know him. He's from Ireland as well. Oh, Con right. Conor McGregor. You've heard oh, of him. Oh, I've heard of him. <laughs> well, he's completely different from our son. Our yeah, son's yeah. a professional wrestler. Yeah, different. And yeah. Um, he's been doing it for years. And, um, you know, I often wondered if he had went down the cage. He was going to go down that. He was going to go down that one, do one time. And then he decided, no, I, I really want to be a wrestler, you yeah. know. So he found a training camp and he went there. And look at him, so professional yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of these days he'll be on the show as well. You never he know. Will. He will. But at the moment, let's go over to a guy, and, and I think Craig likes him as well. Of course, Conor McGregor's won multiple titles, and he's got a gym at home. And he says you can do training in your doorways and everything. Doorways. <laughs> doorways. <laughs> I think it's lifting yourself up or something. It'll like, probably be a bar or something. Yeah, it will be. Knowing door. him, I can't see him lifting so. himself up. But he's bloody built, isn't he? Oh. Right. Let's go over to Conor McGregor's home and see what's kicking. I've gone, Conor. Let's see. <laughs> okay. What's up, everyone? So, I'm gonna show you a little trick, alright? What I like to utilise for pull-ups. So obviously there's many grips that I pull up, the wide grip, the inside lat grip, the bicep grip. So I want to focus on the bicep grip right now, which a lot of people would consider probably the easiest one. It's where most people will start. That's why they'd probably consider it the easy one. The truth is, whatever you start on, whatever one you work on is going to be the easiest one. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever you put the most work in uh, will be the easiest one. But I go through all the motions anyway, I switch it up different days, wide grip, whatever. Today I'm on the bicep grip, so double hands like this one, and then this one, so two hands like that. Now, when I go down, I want to emphasize the elbow coming in. So I'm almost trying to touch elbows. And I also want to extend the arm fully. So extend the arm fully. And I also want to extend the arm fully. So extend the arm fully, and then come up, and as you come up, Bring your elbows in, touching each other, trying try to touch each other, you're not going to be able to touch each other. But I mean, what it does is it slows down the motion and it builds this inner part here incredibly. And also if you mimic a fight, if I'm here and I, and I took my elbows in, two hands up, took the elbows in, everything in here is so tight and so solid that even if a shot does get through, it's like hitting a brick wall. So. If you get the strength going through the, 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 the mid back and the mid chest while the elbows are in, look, you can even see through this big baggy jumper. The pecs are looking solid. But uh, give that a shot anyway. Bicep pull up with the elbows inwards. Boom! Mimicking the guard. All right, good stuff. That's McGregor fast. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. You're gonna have, if you're gonna train, you're gonna have to train like Conor McGregor. I'd be knackered on my back, lying oh, there for a week. You must train there every day. Well, they has to do that because every there's day. nowhere they can go until they open them up. Can you imagine the food he eats? Because I, I think oh. do you have to eat a lot of proteins. Yeah, yeah. Like well, that. unlike some of the wrestlers who don't have to move too fast, this guy punches 100 miles an hour. Oh, I know, so. I know. So it's there we are. Hands of hands of steel let's say that so thanks thanks to conor mcgregor the mcgregor family and his team and management um for a great video anyway Thank you for that. fantastic yes. 
But right now, we're, we're actually going to go over and we're going to go over to our final celebrity guest of this week, the star of the show. Oh. And he is one of the Rolling Stones. I just wanted to do a drum roll there if I could. A drum roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you can sing I Can't Get No Satisfaction if you want, but that would be lying. <laughs> I always get a lot of satisfaction <laughs> when don't I'm watching Don't tell anybody Ronnie, this. Ronnie, you'll be able to Didn't you hear that? You see, you yeah. didn't give oh, me a okay, chance okay, when okay. I'm watching yeah. Ronnie Wood. I get a lot of satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie Wood's a legend as well, and he's been going for decades since the 60s with the Rolling Stones, who are a legendary band with Mick Jagger and stuff. And of course, Ronnie um, wrote a book and stuff like that, and, and it got published as this whole mm -hmm. COVID thing started kicking in. Oh dear. And he's got parts in the book that says that. that he, he wants um, to read on the show because he wants to get the sales up on the book and I'm he sure did. he will but as a signed book Ronnie that's what he do and put that like what John Cole's doing <laughs> <laughs> let's go over to Ronnie Wood the legend that is hello there Ronnie hi there hey now um, in these strange times um, maybe people that are in the programme can't get to a meeting I just want to share something with you today from one of my books um, that helped me get through every day. This one is I'd like to share on hope. I will share my hope for the future with myself, my higher power and my friends. I will also share this with someone who has lost hope. Now if anything we have tended to be people who wanted it all now. To hope is not to demand. Maybe we were a bit demanding. Maybe we were a bit impatient. Maybe that's why we had such little hope. Hope is believing good will come, even in bad times. Hope is knowing that this too shall pass. Hope is knowing that no matter how afraid we are, our higher power will be with us. Hope is knowing we never have to be alone again. It is knowing that time is on our side. Hope is giving up control. Hope is knowing we never had control in the first place. Hope is believing in ourselves. Hope is what our program is all about. Higher power, in our program we share our experiences, our strengths and our hopes. Thank you for giving all three of these to me to share so um, I hope this helps you get through another day well there we are oh. Ronnie, Ronnie Wood reading a book ah. that's like when you read your book your children's book that you wrote I, I just loved doing the book you know yeah. I, I wrote three mini children's books and I loved doing them yeah. during the lockdown you know and he laughed at me and I says really I've got these ideas and I, and I put them into you know a book and then I started yeah. saying it out loud you know so you could get the gist of the whole thing they've not and yet you, been pu published yet but I'm not put them out to be you published. did turn around and say wow I can't yeah. wait to hear the next one and yeah. then I've done the next one I've done three anyway so he says they're pretty good they are so David yeah. Williams <laughs> you've got competition because she's got that little bit moreish. Uh -huh. yes she has <laughs> and there's lots more on her than there on you as well I've got some good characters in the book as well <laughs> yeah the good characters as well now David Williams love what he does for the children as well absolutely but, um, David mm -hmm. Williams give us a shout get on the show and let's do a reading with some of your books and let's talk moreish about what publishers you've got because we're going to get ours published soon as well oh I'd love that fantastic <laughs> but uh, yeah books are books and Ronnie Wood's got his book out right now remember folks you heard what he said it's available in all available bookstores online at the moment digital reading books and you can get uh, them in the bookstores when they reopen I love these um, audio digital reading books yeah, you know, I, I love all that because I tried that one time it's, oh, and yeah, um, yeah. it's really good it's like when you, you were at school and the, the teacher had to read you a story about <laughs> things and you would listen and if you were involved in that story you know you got yourself in deep mm -hmm. then that's it it's just like with the music artist you sit there and you listen to them you say I'm involved with that and you know how to read, exactly. learn that song mm -hmm. so there very we are creative. so thank you very much Ronnie looking forward to seeing what the Rolling Stones get up to when they return to the stage in the very near future hopefully not too far distant like either that. but talking about stages oh. this next artist he stepped on stage 
on Britain's Got Talent as Tina Turner act and of course he stepped on stage and The Voice UK as his own personal act and um, he, he does the Elvis voices, oh, that. Tina Turner voices and he has got a crossover of Elvis and Tina singing a Tina Elvis crossover. Oh, it's quite funny as well. It's unbelievable. It? <laughs> but let's go over right now to a fantastic, wonderful man, Andrew Mark, on the, the link on Moorish TV. Welcome to Moorish TV. Hello there, Mark. Hello there. Well, hello, Z and Sapphire and Moorish TV. How are you guys? My name's Andrew Mark, with a C. I'm a guitar vocalist, cabaret entertainer, and tribute artist. I've got a Facebook music page, that's Andrew Mark, vocalist. I'm also on Twitter under Andrew Mark VUK and I've also got a music channel on YouTube, uh, Andrew Mark Music. Okay guys, thank you. Take care, see you soon. Wonderful stuff from Andrew Mark. Andrew Mark actually gets called Mark Andrews as well when oh, he was really? on VGT and Andrew Mark on The Voice UK. Oh, sort of vice versa. Yeah, I didn't want to be the same person. He is the same person, but didn't want to be he that same person. He is the same person, person. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yes, yeah. and he was extremely well on The Voice as yeah, well. Yeah, and he was well on that stage doing fantastic, doing the Elvis crossover with Tina Turner. I thought it was excellent. Absolutely fantastic, wonderful stuff. Well, um, yeah, it's Father's Day this week. What are you guys all up to? Well, we'll see what we're all up to, but um, it's mm. going to be a different Father's Day because yeah, a lot of fathers, um, they're allowed to see their, 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 their youngsters right now, so hopefully um, we'll be Which is a good that. thing, yes, because um, a lot of this lockdown has eased off a bit and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so be a lot of fathers, um, they would have liked to have went to the pub or something like that, yeah. and, uh, you know... You can always get your, your pint at home, you know, a nice beer or yeah. something like that. It's, it's not nice. the same, but aye. It's not the same, but, you know, just 
Just for this year, you could stay in, I'm sure. We've gotten used to it, but I'm welcoming them when these pub doors open all the same. Yeah, Welcome. I think you get used to it, just staying yeah. in, yes. And talking about that, not just Father's Day, we're celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. Yes, that's right, folks, 25 <laughs> years together. 25 when we take the years. makeup off, we're old and decrepit looking, aren't we? Oh, you talk for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> when you take your makeup off. <laughs> No, 25 years, folks. So if you want to wish us a happy wedding anniversary, oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, um, cute. you can do it on our uh, Craig and Deb's page, our Z and Sapphire page, and even our Morris TV page. So pages. remember that's Wednesday the 24th. Yeah. And uh, that'd be much appreciated if this, you could do that. This Wednesday coming. So yeah. There we are. So that's going to be interesting. We were going to have a massive lavish party. We were. We were. And then we were going to go on a holiday, but we'll have to lay that in the head. There's going to be a big party and some celebrity guests and people will be invited well, to that. Yeah, so the, the the one before the lockdown, we were going yeah. to invite a lot of people to yeah. it, of course. And um, it's a bit sad that we can't do that, but yeah. um, there's always another time that we can do this. The good thing is we've got our chef set up. Ah, already, and yes. John said he would love to do that and uh, that would be a lovely gift from him oh. so yeah it'd be lovely to see him again and um, well to see him in, in, in the flesh because we've not met to yet. say hello yeah we're going to do that after this is all over anyway uh, we'll go down and see him and um, yeah um, he'll, he'll cook for us and we'll have Hercules sing for us and other singers It'd on the show it'd just be wonderful wouldn't it um, yeah everybody's a friend that's been on the show and always remember that Keep, Absolutely. Keep, I mean, we've kept in touch with a lot of people. The yes, same, very much so. The same back with you guys out yeah. there. You've just been marvellous, honestly. Just We've just made so many friends. Yeah. It's but, unbelievable how many. So remember, our wedding anniversary is on Wednesday, but if you want to send us up a little... A little um, Greeting saying happy anniversary it mean a lot to us because yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're stuck on lockdown There's nothing much we can do just have a drink and you know either cook in the house or make a buffet or a takeaway or all that side of things and that's all you can really do until this Can't is over with a lot at this stage and I mean there'll be lots of people that's been going through this with birthdays yeah. and stuff that's similar you know but this was a biggie for us yeah, you but, know 25 years but, but we're, we're not letting the party go the party will happen a lot of people say, oh, you look pretty young in that, you know, 25 yeah. years, never, never. It, it is true. It's true, yeah, 25 <laughs> years. Um, but yeah, that big party will happen and it's going to happen next year. You want your invite? Well, you, you have to look out for it in the post. If you want invited, give us a nudge and we'll see who you this are. This party's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger, yeah, it's going to be massive. <laughs> right, oh. so um, talking about parties, let's carry on with the party that is uh, Morish TV, episode let's 10. Party. We're at the 10 episodes. Ah. That's after that. Oh, so we have Evita <laughs> yeah. and Simone up next. Yeah. And these girls are like lively. Yes, I love you. Did you say ivory or lively? Lively. Ivory as well. Because that ivory? means they're worth a lot of money, these voices. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this, this is a fantastic um, duo. They are. And uh, it's not often you see a duo of two girls much often. You know, we're not talking about rubbish like the Cheeky Girls. We're talking about real pop singers, real rock singers, real, real singer-songwriters. Real singers. Real yes. artists who knuckle down and get the job done. They're not manufactured, Jimmy. Yes, that's right. I'm manufactured, but I'm only manufactured by my mum and dad. There we are. He done the business, I fell out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> are you sure you weren't a comedian? <laughs> no, not yet, anyway. But anyway, yeah, let's go over and um, to the video link and they're going to introduce their fantastic video. They say it's called Psycho Baby. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's in Sapphire. Hi, and Sapphire. Hi, and Morris TV. TV. We are Iveta and Simone, the duo singers from New, New Zealand. Zealand. Hi, how are you? Kia ora. <laughs> now, you can check us out on what? Facebook, of course, Iveta Simon Music. Iveta and Simon Music. Instagram, Iveta Simon. YouTube, YouTube. Iveta Simon. And our website, Iveta Simon Music. Music. Com. And otherwise, there. here is our song. We hope you enjoy our single. Okay. Psycho! Mwah. I gotta be, I gotta be. Free from all the pain now I'm on my knees Cause each day it's just the same I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Free from all the pain now Oh my baby, you've been 
Well, well, well. Thank you very much, Evita and Simone. Uh, absolutely marvellous. Psycho baby. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. We've got psycho prime ministers in this country, but the baby will take care of them. Ah. <laughs> That's what we love to hear. A great song like that. Um, in fact, all the artists on today's show have been absolutely astounding. I would say so. It's uh, been a great lineup for number 10, wasn't yeah. it? I would say so, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And we're not talking about 10 Downing Street, as we just said, because of Boris Johnson. No. no not in any way at all. He's got nothing to do with this show. And if he wants to furlough us, he can furlough the hell off. There you go. <laughs> right, there we are. Nobody's furloughing us because we are doing this off our own backs to entertain you. Not just in the UK, around the, the world. Around the world. The nation, the yes. world. Even the aliens are boogieing the night away. Oh, well, there you go. There's one right next to you, I see. Yeah, that's right. But, um, yeah, um, we have got a fantastic uh, artist to see us out of the show this week. And she's absolutely wonderful. Um but it's been great and remember um, Chef John Quill's book competition if you've missed it uh, you can you can always you know finish the show and then go back and um, listen to his competition and yeah. listen to his cookery that's that's skills. Good part. watch what he's cooking if you want to learn to cook chicken enchiladas in a Mexican style do it yeah, because you could yeah. just like rewind it and just yeah. you know take it from there. And, and Chef John has said write the recipe Chef down even if yeah, you that's what I'm saying. Chef John Quill has said to people, "Come on, show me if you can cook my dish," you know, and that's They're it. too shy, some of them. I know, the, I know. They should be sending in their their. Um, there was one lady that done it, but she was just too late. Anna. Ah Anna, yes, Anna. Anna, Anna, Anna Filipino. Is that right? Filigonio. And, and she sent up a lovely dish. She did. But um, she should have sent it, it just to too John. Late. Yeah, yeah. But she was a bit late. <laughs> just a bit late. And I would have screamed. I saw she'd done a very good job. But if you're watching the show still, Anna, because I know you're a big fan of Morris TV, you get cooking that Mexican chicken and enchiladas for your husband, Tulio, and the kids, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And I'm send sure up the picture. Will. In fact, Anna, you love John Cole so much, go for the competition. Ah. That sounds good. And it's on the, it's on the YouTube the pages. There's more people will be going in for it. Yeah, it? you can put the answer on the YouTube page under the video if you want as well. We'll check everything. And of course the Facebook pages um, on Morris TV, um, Craig and Deb Stevens. And of course, Zed and Sapphire and the group. And so I'm, lots of places. I think John will be John, very John's delighted. Page, John's page as well. Yeah, John Quill. be delighted that you go in for this this competition. So there we are, mega promotion for the John Quill competition this week from JQ Kitchen. Oh. And of course, um, somebody that's getting a little bit hungry for... Food, I think, is us, because we have to sit and eat. But before we do that, we'll go over and see this next artist. I think so. And who yes. we got up next? And we've got Rachel Klein. Mm. Who would Klein, not climb, but climb the charts. Klein. Any time forward, because this lady's got a wonderful Marvelous. pop voice mm -hmm. that's as on par with some of the greatest artists out I there. I would say that so. Chart. No. There's been a lot of great artists yeah. today, I would say so. I would but, say so. Um, Rachel... Rachel's the last one, and we, we keep even the best to last. Yes, we certainly we do. Well. We, we entertain you all for a reason, because we're Moorish TV, and you know why that is. It's because you're a little bit more, and, and get that little bit more. We're going to do that right now, and head over to say hello to Rachel Klein. Hi there, Rachel. Hey, Z, Sapphire, and Moorish TV. My name is Rachel Klein, and I'm a singer, songwriter, and artist based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you want to hear more of my sound, find me on Instagram, at Overlord Rach. Now get ready to hear my version of Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing. I'm on a roll.
much further I don't wanna have to go Where you won't follow I won't hold it back again There's passion inside I can't run from myself And there's nowhere to hide But don't make me close One more door I don't wanna hurt anymore Stay in my So much Rachel that was just a wonderful song just to see us out at the end of episode 10 as I said they're all great acts and Rachel you were fabulous as well and we just can't wait to watch this back yeah, you know looking forward to it. we just like sitting there on a Saturday and just enjoying all you artists out there yeah and uh, it makes our night honestly well, we're here every every Saturday at 5 p.m. on the IPTV channel on YouTube, and of course it's growing with viewers it each is. week. And, it's getting bigger um, and bigger. Pe people love us; they don't love us. Why? Because we love it, give that little bit more. We do. We're Moorish TV, and that's who we are. And listen, folks, um, remember John Cole's competition. Go in for it, and remember and also stay tuned to the Moorish TV channel because you can watch back episodes with some great stars, we've had celebrities, guest stars on from big TV shows and lots lots more, even even some new artists out there who are getting new 
fans as we speak and it's, they're grateful to us. It's like a book set, you know, we've, it certainly we've is. got all these episodes and it'll keep you entertained for hours, honestly, and all yeah. the recipes all the way through as well is yeah. fabulous. Of course, yeah. And today we've had, we've had lots going on, we've even had um, um, impressionists and all that stuff. We've not had too many of them, we had uh, one before. Um, that was Claire somebody and she was good Harrison that's right see so even I remember all my friends yeah. out there now yeah, yeah. on you know and, uh, the Clashes as friends yeah and we've had a few few of them but um, she she was really good as a female comedian but there we go um, but um, listen folks stay tuned and if you've missed any of this show you can watch it and catch up on On Demand on this very channel right after it finishes or if you want some more of it, you want to watch more, there's lots of episodes of Morris TV here. Oh, there's lots of episodes, so it'll keep you busy for hours. But thanks for tuning in to the Big Ten, and that's what it is, because we had ten artists on today. That's not including our celebrity ones. Oh, so ten great artists there, yeah, yeah. and what more can you ask for? Well, let's go for it. Let's say a big thanks in reverse today, and we'll say thank you to Rachel Klein. And Evita and Simone. Andrew Mark. And Ronnie Wood. And of course, Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> and Premuria. <laughs> and of course, Hercules as well. And Justina. And Steve Martin on his banjo. And Chef John Quill. And of course, Christopher John. And Agnes Brown. And D D um, of course, Delaney, D N L Y. Uh -huh. And Samantha Hudson. Yes, and we also had Shine. That's Leroy Shine Moncrief. The we started singer. the show off. Of course, and you've also had us, We Are Zed. And Sapphire. And you've been watching Moorish TV, why? Because we give you that little bit more. And we'll be back giving you some more next week when we go for a living from heaven. Oh, we'll not be in heaven, be though. Great. We'll not be in heaven. No, well, but you'll be in heaven with the artists. You certainly will be. <laughs> you certainly will be. Remember the John Cole cook cooking competition? It's a great, great prize. Don't miss it. And remember, don't miss Moorish TV. We'll be back next week. You take care of yourselves and each other as a friend, Jeremy. No, Jeremy. Kyle, what's his name? Jeremy Springer. Uh, <laughs> I've been mixed up with them both. <laughs> and have a wonderful weekend. And a wonderful week ahead. And don't forget to wish us. On the Wednesday, a silver anniversary, yeah. wedding anniversary. Happy 25th anniversary. Oh. We're looking forward to that. Thank you. And we'll see you when we're 25th year is up next week on episode 11 from heaven. Stay tuned, folks. This has been Morris TV with Zen. And Sapphire. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.